Welcome to part 3 of the JB Watercraft T-Rex Paddleboard Build Series. It's been a little while, but now it's finally time to get on with the fun part of the build. Today we will be assembling the main parts of the board. We will do this by stitching it together using electrical zip ties, also known as cable ties in this part of the world. The assembly process is fun because you can start the day with nothing but some flat pieces of plywood and finish the day with something which already looks quite a lot like a paddleboard. In fact, everything you are about to watch was filmed over just one day. We'll start by stitching one of the top rail panels onto the side panel of the board. We'll start at the front of the board and work our way to the back. I'm drilling 2.5mm holes and using 2mm zip ties to hold these panels together. You can also use wire ties, however I find zip ties to be much quicker and easier. As this was a prototype board, I'm drilling holes as I go, however you should have the holes pre-marked on your full size templates. These stitches are temporary and will be removed once the board has been fully glued together. Looks like I better let the cat inside. You can see here that I'm keeping the tails of the zip ties on what will be the outside of the board. This makes it easier to trim them off later. And there goes the cat back outside again. You can see how the panels begin to take on the shape of the board as I get further and further along with the stitching. Here's a view of the completed rail and side panels all stitched together. Now I need to just repeat this process for the panels on the opposite side of the board. I won't show you this as it's exactly the same process again. Now with the side and rail panels stitched together, it's time to stitch them onto the main deck panel of the board. Once again I'm starting at the front and working my way back. The deck will slowly begin to take shape as I work my way further and further along the board. Sometimes you will need to bend the panels up close to their final shape before the cable ties will pull up properly. The join between the panels should be nice and tight. You shouldn't see any gaps larger than 1 or 2 millimeters. If you do see larger gaps than this, you may need to cut the cable ties, readjust the panel and then stitch it again. Next, it's time to stitch the upper rail and side panels onto the opposite side of the deck. You can see it's really starting to look like a paddle board now. I'll skip through this process quickly because it's exactly the same as what we just did. With the sides all stitched on, now it's time to assemble the internal frame. The transverse bulkheads simply slot into the longitudinal bulkheads using the slots that we cut earlier. This is fiddly at first due to the flexibility of the panels, so be careful. 
However, it will become more rigid as more of the bulkheads get attached. The bulkhead should be quite a snug fit, so it may require a gentle tap with a hammer. However, be careful as they are quite fragile. Next, I decided to stitch the longitudinal bulkheads onto the transverse bulkheads. This will make it easier to install into the board. I'm drilling stitch holes anywhere that panels meet each other. This includes both between the longitudinal and transverse panels as well as between the framing and the board itself. There's quite a lot of drilling involved in this process. In fact the cheap department store drill that I bought burned out not long afterwards. So I ended up having to go buy another one. Once again I emphasise to use good quality tools from the start. With all the holes drilled, now we can lift the frame up on into the board itself. Gently push each of the bulkheads down until they fit snugly into the board. You'll more than likely see some small gaps beneath the bulkheads. Don't worry, these will disappear once everything is stitched together properly. Now we can begin stitching the frame down onto the deck until it fits snugly. Here I'm drilling stitch holes into the deck corresponding to the holes that we drilled into the frame earlier. Watch the gap under this bulkhead disappear as I tighten up the zip tie. Another gap disappearing as the deck gets pulled into shape. If you're wondering why I have a sign on the wall that says Hell, it's actually a sign from a local pizza chain here in New Zealand. They were throwing it away and we found it at the local recycling shop. Here you can see I'm just finishing stitching all of the bulkheads down to the deck. You can see how much better everything fits in now, with almost no gaps underneath the bulkheads anymore. With all of the transverse bulkheads stitched down properly, it's time to do the same process with the longitudinal bulkheads. I'm simply stitching them anywhere where there's a gap that needs to be pulled up. These occur mostly around the intersections with the transverse bulkheads. I'll quickly skip through the rest of the stitching, as it's really just more of the same. This video makes it obvious why I really like the stitch and tape construction method so much. I started work mid-morning 
and by 6 o'clock in the evening I had a mostly assembled panel board ready for gluing. With the stitching complete and the board really beginning to take shape, this is where I'll end it for this video. But join me next time when I show you how to glue the board together and remove all of the stitches that we've just put in. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to build your own T-Rex pedal board, visit my website jbwatercraft.com.